Okay, so today we're going to talk about Power Base Kyle. Is he good? <laughs> oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. So this guy right here, this may be my most used hero out of any of the heroes. This guy is just my absolute favorite constructor. He's so insanely powerful. Um, I wouldn't say that he's stronger than Base Kyle. Base Kyle still has extraordinary, extraordinary hit points on his walls, which is probably more important than auto repair, for being honest. But, 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 man, oh man, Power Base has the most ridiculous, absurd, salt like auto repair of any character in the game. If you're in the right situation, you basically just win. <laughs> you just, you just win. That's what it is. You just win. There's nothing they can do. Enemies will come in. They'll attack, and they will fail. Oh yes, they will fail. There's nothing they can do to stop the might <laughs> of power base. The thing that I love about this character is that outside of like a smasher charge or like a massive like flinger slash lobber barrage outside of like you know major concentrated fire this guy could actually out heal virtually any amount of damage it's it's crazy like this guy's self-repairing abilities is so good that i have been able to solo pretty much all the content with ease uh <laughs> yeah and this is why so power modulation, I always use him as a commander perk. He's my, my main go-to. And um, yeah, his structures affected by base are healed by 11% of max health for 10 seconds. Now I think this used to be base health, but I think they changed it to max health, which is pretty interesting because that means the, uh, the more health that your buildings have, the more healing that you do. Whereas before it only affected the base health, which, you know, big difference, right? Uh, so now if you go and throw a, a flag down or if you, th if, if you have multiple constructors boosting the health of your buildings, uh, this guy you know, becomes even stronger, right? That much more powerful. Just incredible. Such a fun, fun character. The support squad for this guy is pretty straightforward. It's, it's very similar to base Kyle, honestly. They're just flip-flopped. So, of course, we're going with Supercharged Traps as the team perk. Supercharged Traps is extraordinary. It's 8.5% uh, um, more damage for every single constructor that you have. <laughs> so, 8.5 times 5. Holy cow, right? Just crazy damage. Absolutely crazy. It's like, what is that? 40, 50, 65? 65% 65 bonus damage? Yeah, legit super super legit so then we have in the support team we've got lofty architecture of course base kyle monster character gives you 20 percent, 28 percent extra building health to uh, to everything that's attached to your base bonkers so strong you've got mega base total garbage character but still a great uh, great support character uh, mega base increases the base connectivity range by one works for me takes you from a three by three to a four by four enough to cover a repair the shelter awesome ability frozen castle wonderful skill rocking from the ice king enemies standing on these on structures affected by base are snared by 15 percent. so everything moves slow especially if you go and put uh wooden floor spikes down you get an even bigger slow effect you're just like i'm so slow it's like get out of here you garbage <laughs> And then, then we've got electrified floors with formerly, formerly, you know, our machinist Thora no longer. Now Thunder Thora rocking electrified floors. Enemies standing on structures affected by base take 12.7% or sorry, 12.7 base energy damage every five seconds. It's just extra damage, right? It's nothing huge, you know, as a support perk, it's not a big deal. It's a, it's a lot better as a, as a commander perk, but again, it's just bonus damage. You know, there's a lot of, not a lot of options with uh, good defensive constructor support, so this is a you know a no-brainer. 
And that, last but not least, we have Electro Pulse Penny rocking the fully contained enemies that at that melee attack structure is affected by the base take 15, 15 base damage. So punch the wall, hurt yourself. Pretty straightforward. Solid character, solid build. I always, always rock the um, the hover turret in the slow field, but on on the right, I'll I'll take like slow field or I'll take banner. Uh, Banner's really, really good. If nobody else is using it, it's it's you know you need it. You throw that in your base, and all your 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 allies can spawn on the banner. And also, when you put the banner down, it it boosts the health of all of your buildings by a dramatic amount. So both really, really solid. I think I might actually uh, go with banner and slow field, but it depends. Uh, it's really nice to have the 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 hover turrets for when you're doing you know storm chests uh, or when you need that little extra oomph to protect your base to buy you a little bit of time you know it is helpful it is nice so uh, you can you can pretty much take whatever you want though it's uh this character is going to take care of himself uh, once you have your base in place once you have everything upgraded uh, you become a god essentially the way this guy works is the more health that your buildings have the more hit points that your auto repair recovers for that help for that building so you if you are using power base as your character you definitely want to be using metal i don't care if you're fighting nature enemies with metal corrosion you still build in metal always 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 if you're not building in metal then don't use this character because this guy is all about having the craziest hit points on his base possible so that you get these huge, huge chunks of health. Those huge chunks of health will far outweigh the negatives of having nature countering your metal or having uh, metal corrosion eating up your walls. Um, typically, uh, you can you can kill all of the metal corrosion enemies anyway because the only ones that cause metal corrosion are these the, the regular size husks. And you can kill most, well, all of them, let's be real, you can kill all of them by using properly placed traps as they're coming through the traps they die the only thing that gets to your walls are huskies propane mist monsters right so you don't even have to worry about uh metal corrosion actually being an issue and having the the nature effect yes they will do you know dramatically increase damage to metal walls however with you know with well placed um you know knockbacks you can get them off the walls they don't get too many punches off and the massive bonus you get from the extra healing and just survivability in general it it, it just dwarfs the downside so always build in metal power base do it <laughs> so power base kyle for those of you who don't know he is the ultimate edition reskin of power base nox so if you do not have the ultimate edition you won't be able to get this character but you can get the character that he is modeled after he is a exact duplicate of power base nox who is a classic classic set character that you can research from the collections book if you do not have it so you can get you can get the the power base easily no problem uh, i'm just happy that i have the ultimate edition because let's be let's be real guys how cool does this guy look look at that guy black SWAT gear look at that SWAT backpack night vision goggles just a beast man the coolest looking constructor in the entire game he's even got fully fully clothed arms he like mega base has his arms all showing is it yeah no no this guy's like full armor full SWAT body armor it just feels good man it feels good I love this guy I love how he looks and this is what he looks like when he's looking at you <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> So, <laughs> power base Kyle forever, baby. I love him. He's he's my favorite. I don't care if, if base Kyle is a little bit stronger, you know. And if you know, yeah. If I if I wanted to be the best, and I wanted to, if I was actually if I was actually not so lazy that I was willing to actually repair my walls manually. Oh, peasants! <laughs> peasants repairing walls manually is for peasants. I use my my base to do the work for me when I take a nap. <laughs> Favorite constructor ever. <laughs> All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this awesome review. I love this one. I love this character. I've been putting him off. Honestly, I haven't been doing the review for this guy at all for ages, even though I've been asked so many times, simply because base Kyle is better. <laughs> He's a better constructor. 
If you're not lazy, if you actually just walk up to your wall and repair your walls manually, you know, your walls are stronger. They're thicker, you know, they can take way more punishment and you still have, you know, power base in your support squad so, uh, squad doing, you know, a lesser amount of of repair. And, uh, but it's not, not terribly lesser, right? It is lesser. But this guy is my favorite. So finally, I was like, okay, you know what? We're going to do it. We're going to show, we're going to talk about why I love this character so much and why I use him all the time. And it's just because I'm lazy and I love it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this review of the power base Kyle. <laughs> I had so much fun doing this, guys. Thank you so much for, uh, to, to, to my Twitch crew for badgering me to do this video, to do this review. Uh, yeah, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for being a part of the Bash Corps and, uh, you know, constantly inspiring me to, to, to go harder. You know, we stream for eight, over 18 hours a day, every single day. And, uh, I thank you guys so much for being there to support me and, uh, you know, to support this game. So thank you so much, guys. As long as you got my back, I'm going to have yours. So rock and roll. Make sure you like and subscribe, guys. Ring that bell. Give those thumbs up. Make sure you leave a comment in, down below and let me know what you think of the power base call. I want to hear your thoughts. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one.